Is the crypto bull market over? This is Bitcoin on the weekly. It's, look at that weekly candle right now. That red weekly candle, Bitcoin falling. It, it's having trouble getting to new all-time high. Crypto is falling. Is it over? In this video, I am going to answer exactly why it's not over. And I'm going to do it very simply. So please hit the subscribe, hit the like, let's jump into the video. I actually, I want to go to this daily chart real quick. Here's Bitcoin. This is Bitcoin on the daily exiting the bear market. That's what that looks like. And this was a, this was a fun time. Just Bitcoin exiting that bottom of the bear. We start zooming out and here's the, the path that it has been on. I, I can't remember a specific narrative at the time, but I'm sure right here when Bitcoin started falling again, I mean, we were at like 48, almost 50. And then all of a sudden, before you know it, we're at 38. I'm sure, I'm sure the, the run was over at that moment. We go even further. I am sure here's Bitcoin all time high right before the halving. Here's the halving on the daily chart. I'm sure the bull run was over right here. But, but wait, it's not over. I'm sure it was over again right here. And then it was over again right here. And then we bounced. And now it's over again. The recession is here. There's so much talk of the recession. It's, it's 2008 all over again. I'm not going to sit here and say every data point as far as just not even in just crypto, but in traditional finance, with real estate, with all the macroeconomic things that, that go into this, all the ingredients. I'm not going to sit here and say every ingredient is so good. But I will sit here and say, and I'm going to show you right now, why the bull run is not over yet. And you might not like my answer. And I want to go to the weekly chart to kind of start discussing this. This is Bitcoin on the weekly. The, the, the first reason that I want to tell you why this is not over is very simple, everybody. It's because it hasn't even started. That's why it's not over. The crypto bull market has not, it has not started. And so that could be a good thing, depending on how you look at it. But the other flip side of the perspective is it could be a bad thing. Meaning this means if it hasn't started yet and crypto doesn't get this, this launch pad parabolic move to the upside, if it doesn't happen, this will be like the first crypto cycle that we're in where it doesn't happen. So my, my question for you is this, are you ready for that? I, I think so many people have been thinking we're in this bull market. And I've been saying time and time again, we're getting very close like to things like altcoin season. But historically, we're not, we're not there just yet. We're at the very beginning. And I just posted this a little bit ago. I don't buy into the notion that this crypto bull run has been canceled. I could be wrong, but I think people have simply expected too much too soon. Patience is being tested. Green candles on the macro still await. I think that. But let's go. There's, there's kind of like a flip side answer to this as well. It's not just, well, it hasn't started yet. That's why it's not over. It hasn't started yet. That's one answer. But the flip side to it is also just, we're, we're so on pace with previous cycles, right? So it's putting aside expectations and putting aside where everybody thinks we should be, what crypto should be doing right now, what Bitcoin should be doing, and very simply just looking at what has it done in the past and are we kind of still in a normal environment? And in, and in my view, we are. And I could be wrong about this, right? And, and that's something that I take on myself, that risk of it. What if it is? Like, what if, what if crypto enters like this new bear market at this stage of the cycle, which has never happened before? A bear market right now, right after the Bitcoin halving has not happened. I'm prepared for that. I don't want that at all. But look at this. Here's Bitcoin. Then we're going we're gonna to make our way to the daily chart. I want to discuss short-term price action. But here's Bitcoin on the weekly. It's a red candle for sure. If you look at this price range wise, that red candle, like right around 16%, you see that we're down. And if we look at this though, from this yellow line, that's a Bitcoin having like 105 days is what it's saying. And if we go back last cycle, 105 days after the Bitcoin having, look at this. Here's Bitcoin making a nice move to the upside. It's nice. The question I have is, and, and maybe you were here, maybe you weren't, but Looking at even the chart and what happened, here was a move of swing high to swing low, 21%. This candle alone, that red candle that you see right there around 
17, 18%. Question, was the bull market over? At this exact time, last cycle, post-Bitcoin having 105 days or so, 100 days, was it over? Not only was it not over here, but it hadn't even started. It was the pivot into the parabolic bull, but it, has, it hadn't even started. And so we're in a similar type of environment right now on this weekly chart. Everybody's kind of just like, man, what's going on? Is it over? And there's a ton of fear headlines right now. And the same is true. And this, this is obviously I'm looking at some Bitcoin charts, but this video is a crypto video. The, the Bitcoin charts are a zoomed out roadmap to crypto. And I'm going to look at the total crypto market cap chart. I'm going to look at the Bitcoin dominance chart. But here's the total crypto market cap chart. And this is on the weekly. So I think I have the, I might have the Bitcoin having wrong on one of these charts, but this is saying 98 days post Bitcoin having, right? So just around 100 days on this total crypto market cap chart. What's total crypto market cap doing? It is down a nice 15, 16%, just like Bitcoin. Look at this, around 100 days. And here's the same move that we just looked at for Bitcoin. It was also down, right? Was it over for crypto then? And it was down even more back then. No, it wasn't over, right? Go to the Bitcoin dominance chart. And I really want to cover this because this plays into all of crypto heavily for me. This plays into altcoin season heavily for me. We've had this lower high Fibonacci for quite some time on this, on this chart as we've been just tracking Bitcoin dominance, waiting for altcoin season, which I continue to say is kind of over here post Bitcoin having. And because I, I think if I remember correctly, a lot of people getting frustrated that altcoin season wasn't like happening right here in this nice Bitcoin move. You can see Bitcoin dominance rising pre Bitcoin having. Where's altcoin season? Well, historically, altcoin season is post-Bitcoin having by, by quite some time, by months. This is a weekly chart. So here it is, last cycle. That's altcoin season. And what did it do? It tested this lower high Fibonacci. And what it is, is a very simple Fibonacci. If we get our Fibonacci, let's get our Fibonacci. And let's just look. Last swing high to the swing low, and there it is, that green channel, revisiting, pulling into that lower high, Bitcoin dominance. There, again, and even now as I do this video, there's no guarantee that Bitcoin will reach that area, but that has always been in play for Bitcoin. And notice on this weekly chart where we are in terms of this cycle comparative to last. Here's Bitcoin having last cycle to that swing high before altcoin season, 224 days after Bitcoin having, altcoins finally stepped in. Crypto finally started doing something that I think most people were anticipating. They're waiting for that bull market. And the same is true now. People are waiting for that bull market. So last cycle, 220 some days, puts us all the way over here. And this is in actually November, December. That's where, that's where that is, right? I've been saying, I think the move can happen. I think I've been saying August, September. I think the move can happen for altcoins to, to, to step it up. And maybe it will, right? Right now, it's, you know, on this chart, it's August. It's the first week of August. And Bitcoin's making a nice move to the upside. Maybe it continues to the lower high Fibonacci, completely in play. Or maybe crypto markets turn around and altcoins start getting some momentum against Bitcoin. And we do start seeing a similar multi-cycle altcoin season begin. But we still have time. And that is the point. And again, depending on how prepared someone is, can make this a very comfortable environment because it is unknown. We don't know, right? Maybe this will be the first cycle. You zoom out on a Bitcoin chart on a weekly. Maybe this is the first cycle post Bitcoin having, here's Bitcoin having, where Bitcoin and crypto just falls because we know previous cycles, it has gone up, right? That's what Bitcoin and crypto does after Bitcoin having. Maybe it doesn't happen. So, you could be comfortable with that if you're well prepared, if you're not overextended, if you're not investing, you know, more than you can afford to lose. Or it could be uncomfortable and like, come on, this is not good, right? But that's why I do these charts because I like to visualize scenarios. I like to visualize continuation. A, a typical bull market is getting ready to set up. Am I ready for that? Am I happy with my holdings? Or if we get a first, we're falling. What's up with that? Am I ready for that? 
Here's Bitcoin on the daily chart. This is kind of giving us a nice, a nice idea, I think, of what to look for right now. This chart on the daily is nothing out of the ordinary. And in fact, if we take our Fibonacci on the short term, swing low to swing high, Bitcoin right now, just in the, in the middle of a very simple higher low test, that is not to say that it holds, right? Bitcoin might fail here. And we have our next target. It's the lower trend line. But that's just the thing. This is why we follow patterns. This is why we follow support areas. The next target to the downside is the lower trend line of this channel that we've been tracking. So we don't complain when we get moves to the upper trend line, right? Here was one move back in June. Here was a move very recently, like a week ago, right? We don't complain when we get those moves. We start complaining and start calling for bear markets when we start getting the move to the downside. Lower trend lines and upper trend lines, they're always tested. And so we have to just, I think, put emotion aside and just track it and just watch, right? So on the short term, right now, when we're talking about short-term price action, and you can apply this to altcoins because you know this chart, the Bitcoin daily chart, it just gives a really good uh, visualization of what crypto is doing in general. But right here, this lower high, uh, lower high, I'm sorry, higher low Fibonacci, we're looking at around 56,000, let's just call it 57,000 to around $59,600 or so. And Bitcoin is right within that range right now. It will be interesting to see how the week starts and how the week goes. We could continue falling. Maybe we're touching $51,000 by the end of the week and people are panicking and freaking out. And I will not say that I enjoy it, but I will say this, it's a normal move. It's a, it's a setup. It's a pattern setup on Bitcoin, right? And maybe we need to allow things like the volatility index, uh, S&P 500 index chart. Maybe it needs to go up a little higher. Fear needs to rise a little higher. In my opinion, that's not such a bad thing, right? Especially when we're looking at this Bitcoin chart and it needs to consolidate for the next leg up potentially. And the other thing I just wanted to point out to you is this. And let me go to a weekly just to, just to illustrate this for a moment. At this time, last cycle, right? We've already kind of identified around 100 days or so is, is where we were for Bitcoin last cycle. At this time, last cycle, Bitcoin was down around 49% from its all-time high. Look at this. You see that? Here's all-time high back here, 2017. Bitcoin down years later, post-Bitcoin having August 2020, down around uh, 49%. So down around 49%. This cycle around, Bitcoin from less, we can take less cycle all-time high, it's fine. Bitcoin currently down around 15%. From all-time high, which actually happened this cycle before Bitcoin having for the first time, down 20%. I think there just needs to be patience. I think there just needs to be kind of zooming out, getting some perspective and just being like, you know what? Maybe it's going to be a powerful cycle. And maybe that will require a little bit of different consolidation. But there is so much room to the downside even of consolidation for Bitcoin to still have a great cycle. We are still early in this cycle. Uh, so these are my thoughts. That's why the Bitcoin bull market, the crypto bull market isn't over. It's very simply because it hasn't even started and crypto really is just still on pace. It's not what a lot of people want to hear, but that just is what it is. That's data. That's not my opinion. I can tell you that. And in this video, I just wanted to try and illustrate that data, just show you that data and really not even interject my opinion too much. So those are my thoughts. These are the, the things I'm watching on these charts. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Hit the subscribe, hit the like. If you're out there, you watch my videos, I just want to say thank you. I really do. I just want to say thank you. I've been doing these videos for years and you're hanging in there watching these videos. I appreciate you. I really do. It motivates me to know that you all are still out there kind of on this crypto journey with me. So thank you. Have a good start to your week. Chill out. Everything's all good. I'll see you in the next video. And as always, God bless.